The emergence of teams like Makati. Does that worry you when it comes to San Juan in the series? In that Bacor Ilo Ilo match, it's really how you play inside the court that matters. Champion with Neva Isia, and so he only has high standards for himself. Yeah, it's no secret why he keeps on getting. Who hands it off to Eman Kahlo. Six on the shot clock. Ooh, nice looking step back from Eman Kahlo. Oh, I tell you, when I had that conversation with Billy Ray Robles as Orlan Momar backs that ball in. But then again, we've also seen some moments wherein Eman Kahlo is the most serious guy from Makati as now Orlan Mamar just drained a three-pointer and then he got hit. Then, as he tried to cross half line, there was Dr. Brinas. Wong wala na mga extend, so. Oh, oh. Spinning his way, double teamed, no basket, offensive rebound. They go to the right, Panganiban fires and scores. Here comes Orlan. Mamar surveys and passes, Dokum fakes up and under for two points. This for San Juan, Panganiban behind the back. Great recovery though from Billy Ray Robles. Let's hear. This was the play by Adrian Nock. No, great finish. And this move is with 14 on the clock. Nico Panganiban against Billy Robles. Panganiban backing down, going to the other side. Basket and one. Billy Robles, one of the strongest two, three players here in the league. And yet Nico Panganiban unfazed going into that play. Screen by Rob Zellis. Eman drives. There's the extension. Eman Kahlo uh, fires. In and out. Rebound. Tonton. Bring us. Taking his time. Nice fake. And he scores. For San Juan. Michael Galisaan. Oh, that ball bounces in for him. Rebound. Robles. Nice pass inside. And Santos is fouled. Ah, Jeff Tahonera with some extra motion. Yeah, there was the miss. Good challenge by Nokum as he came up with the foul. Well, there was an extra motion by Alan Santos after the shot. Medyo nabagsa kanya ng kanyang braso si Zap Wang. One on review. Finals last year. Foul on number five, Orlan Vamar is second. Foul on number 11, Jeff Tahonera. Penalty situation. So what does that mean? That doesn't change. Four. So Berano escapes, no finish there, but there's the follow from E.G. Boy Moika. He has had here in the first quarter. So Berano, that's a three from Mobile. Six on the shot clock, R.J. Ramirez off of the switch. Not much spacing, then he escapes, and there's the lefty layup. It's alongside Javi Palanya. Try some different adjustments as we see here in the first quarter field goal story for both teams. 9 out of 20 for the Knights and 5 out of 20. Dave Arana, Joseph Terzo, and got the gang on as Stacey Soperano answers back for San Juan. 25-17. Got the gang on. Catches, fires, and scores. North Division. Ooh! Renzo Subida just crashed onto the sideline as the gang on got the ball. And the layup to go. Malikay Orlan. Up top. Kalisa. Nice fake. One, two. And the gimme in the North Division quarterfinals. The score reads 27 to 24. Make that 30 to 24 after that three pointer by Orlan Mamar. Still scoreless in this game. Nice cut. Nice pass. Good finish by Mike Kalisan. Just caught the camera, man. Yeah. Are you? Now going to Tonton Bringas, there's the high-low, bit of a push, and finally that's the first field goal for Robbie Celis after seven tries. Seven on the shot clock, they go to Nico Panganiban, nice fake, dribble pull up, yes! Post up as well, his free throw shooting has always been suspect. That's really weird, no? For a guy who has a good touch as Orlan Mamar drains a mid-range jumper. A Makati's frontline rotation. There's the jumper by Orlan Momar off of the screen. Again, we have seen different sets. And they still couldn't cut through. The hard work is there. Another denial, out of bounds, baseline inbound. Thanks. 54 before halftime. That's 2 plus 1 for Adrian Nopong. Of uh, denying the first option, which was the elevator screen on Rit William Ping on that left corner. Three boards and three dimes. Zach Wang, Agovida. Off of the switch, there's the double. Agovida in trouble. He was fouled. This experience able to remember what number that was. Yep. 
Nokum will try from half court. Better here in the second half. Two out of 12. Two out of 13 already from the three point line. That is less than 50% efficiency. San Juan just threw multiple defensive coverages at him and multiple. Recovery for Nico. Bounce pass. Adrian Nokum. Up top, Orlan Momar, the three-point king of the MPBL. No problem knocking down the three-point shot. Excellent looking stroke coming from our three-point king. As Kita Govida scores for Makati. Tuwalabas ulit, Orlan Momar for back-to-back. That's a foul. Three free throws. Band to you? Yeah. Hands or arm bands. There's the handle. Panganiban crosses. Nico spins. Nice escape. Panganiban up top. That's actually at the right wing. It's EJ Boy Moika from downtown. So obviously they want a good start and they want to change things. It set the tone. What a block by Zach Wang. They were down, but because Coach Randy set the tone last Monday that it's playoff time. Shown it a lot this year throughout his career here in the MPPL how he can anchor an offense, especially in tough situations. Down big, you get. Orlan Momar losing his defender. Nice crossover. Left wing. 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 dimes for Orlan. There's the answer from Gab Dagangon. 14 on the shot clock. Zach Wang up top. Oh, he escapes. Nice split by Zach Wang. That's basket and one. Strong and hard through traffic. Overplay right there by RJ Ramirez. Agovita was already anticipating the handoff that allowed the clear lane to the basket going to Zach Wang. Have you seen him dunk the ball already? Kati, Lucas will go to the trailer. Dagangon scores from downtown. The fourth three-pointer of Makati as compared to the eighth of San Juan. Panganiba, tough pass. Oh my goodness. Here he is going down the lane. Slight push by Dagangon got him off balance. But then in the air locating Edgy Boy Mojica. Celis was late. Eight on the shot clock. The Gangon. The cross. Bounce pass. Agovida spins and scores. Nine on the shot clock. Off to the left was his three pointer. AC Soberano. How about that? Three point shooting, Natin. Make that third quarter field goal shooting. Eight out of nine. Only one miss. First and one relative. It's really been a very low clip from the field. Para dito sa Makati. Randy gave extra emphasis on them. He said, "Ngayon kailangan ng energy yo. Ngayon yung ilang mix habi." I actually like the irony of that report as EJ Boy Mojica converts from downtown again to provide motivation to his young guns that made his youthful uh, roster seem like an advantage for everybody. Uh, about some one rather. That's another miss by Billy Robles. Agobida recovers though for Makati. J. Ramirez getting the ball back up top. He drives and feeds. And that's the first field goal for Billy Ray Robles. Three pointer again. That's short. Wang got another offensive rebound. Zach Wang and company. How things? Third quarter. Percentage with a better clip in that third quarter. That's why overall they're at 36% right, right now. But during the first half, they were Makati and San Juan really gutting it out. But the Knights really have been playing beautiful basketball in all of the quarter of the I think I'm going to book ni Alan Santos. That's a goal, then. Ramirez to Terso. They go to Robles. He just has his sights centered on the rim right now. Another kick out, Lamar. Same look. Different result. 23 points for Orlan Lamar. San Juan's up by 14. Nico Panganiban fakes. He bumps and scores. They're up by 16. The four minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Nokum, Ali of the Mojica, just magical. The lead is 18. The largest was at 19 as Agovida answers back. He mentioned usually it's Adrian Nokum lobbing up or getting the lob. This time around, he's the one passing the basketball. Great feed. That's a play that they've ran numerous times this season. But yes, a kid. Uh, you couple that with his athleticism, which we are again seeing right on cue, Mr. Noko. You see the strength 
and uh, the effort inside by Michael Calisan. Those magical moves from Adrian Nopum. You have a uh, Zach Wang. You have Eiji Boy Mohika. Had uh, big says. But because of his great showing here in the MPBL, he got himself drafted. As Keith Agubida scores inside, he got onto Agubida. Keith, tough move. Nice up. Celis onto Evan Kalo. Kalo kicks out. Come on from the corner. That's good. At 12, and then you make that kind of turnover after a stop. And then you give up a basket. That's two more points for Nico Panganiban. Effort. Cross court pass. Jan Hamon pulls up. That's good. What a kick out. Panganiban chose to use up the clock. Wisely at that. Nine on the shot clock. Kalisan to Omar. Orlan back to Michael. Nice feed. And Nopum will finish. These last two quarters, Agubida will try to reach for 20 points. But boy. What an offensive sequence again that was by the Knights. Did everybody touch the ball? Yeah. That should be an advantage for Nico. There's the attack and the two points. He was at the bottom of the league. Mike Cortez as well. Janamon. Top of the key three is short. How about that? Marco Sario. Almost a putback for him. Two free throws. Sario who really... Two free and one nights completely dismantled the Makati Kings in game number one of their North Division quarterfinal series. This is only the beginning, but boy.